Black, dark void. Falling, hurling, head over heels through the nothingness, my body flails about as I try to right myself. Bam! I slam into a hard surface, and the air swooshes from my lungs. Arm searing, I push up on my hands. White vapor appears from nowhere, and it writhes and swirls in front of me, then freezes into the form of a face. A woman. Sonia? Reconfiguring, another visage forms. Abaddon. A thin smile spreads, and the image morphs into that of Lucifer. You will not succeed. Darkness always prevails. Sucking in a breath, I open my eyes to see faint shadows of the crystals hanging above. Alive. Awake. In my bed. In my castle. In my kingdom. In my realm. I exhale. Sweat hangs on my brow, and I toss my covers and cross to the water bowl. Dousing my face, I lay my palms on the soft wood of the bureau and inhale. Exhale. Just a dream. Neither Lucifer, Abaddon, nor Sonia possesses powers in my realm. They cannot hurt me or any fae here. I lord their mutant kobold army who attempted to invade us into the deep, dark abyss of Lower Earth, ending the hideous beasts. Yes, Lucifer, or whatever evil spirit I encountered, thought it could trap me in that realm. But the goddesses granted me power to escape. Inch by inch, I stretch my aching wings to full span. Perhaps the trinity of witches, Alina, Camille, and Hunter, curtailed the power of evil spirits inhabiting Lower Earth. I pray they did, after we risked much aiding them, opening our rings enabling them to pass into the dark realm. Maybe Sonia, as well as her son Thanatos and grandson Theron, have been dealt with. My mind spins with the quandary. How does one curtail the power of a spirit? Good or evil, souls remain eternal. There is no way to end one. At least Sonia, Thanatos, and Theron cannot pass through our rings. Only souls of the Creator can override our ring magic. Bumps form on my skin, and a chill crawls down my back. Yes, Lucifer and Abaddon possess the power to enter this realm. No histories describe them doing so, I assure myself. And again, they hold no power here. Still, I have no idea what the witches hoped to or did accomplish in Lower Earth. An image of Hunter's pale, slack form crosses my mind. I hope he lives. I fold my wings on my back and spin to face the window, the faintest glow of light slipping around the curtains. I cannot tarry on this issue. There stands no use while the High Council controls my rings, and therefore my access to Upper Earth and the Trinity Witches. This challenge brings me to a bigger problem. Alim's trial. The High Council charges him with treason for allowing the witches, more particularly the female Alina, being a vampire witch hybrid, to cross our realm. Lifting my eyes to my crystals. I say a silent prayer to the goddesses. My mind jumps to another problem. The speed of charges brought against Aleem, resulting vote for a trial and descent of the High Council guards, gave me no time to replace the set of ring crystals I had lost in Lower Earth. Without them, I have no access to Lower or Upper Earth. And the High Council has Aleem guarded day and night. I doubt I can contact him without being discovered. Does he possess an additional set of crystals? Has he instructed one of his judges to secure them for me? Or shall I ask someone else? Who could I trust with such a task? <laughs>